Hello, this is Dina Davis. I am reporting my final SIG assignment assessment from my peers. Um, just kind of looking over the questions, I did want to go over um, some of the main points. Um, so I did think that it did um, probably meet my expectations. I was really nervous about coming into the class late in the semester. Um, I did have some registration issues, as you know. Um, also with funding, so it was kind of saying I'm in the course, I'm not in the course, and yeah, I really do appreciate their um, really accommodating into me uh, delving into the subject matter. And so there was a lot of pressure for me to kind of exceed uh, since the last time I was trying to take the the course, um, I wasn't able to complete it. And I did want to get everything completely um, on time and right. And it did kind of seem like everything was kind of holding me back. But I am glad I was able to kind of push forward and persevere with uh, completing this course. So with this final SIG assignment, um, it did at times kind of throw me off since, you know, I did. Um, I looked at it and it said that it did need uh, group participation. Um, I don't have a traditional background in teaching students. I've worked with them. I have not necessarily created um, a plan to teach them. I've worked in our IAP plan, but um, I don't have credentials to actually work with students. But I am glad to have the opportunity to work with um, on my project on my own because I'm able to kind of work with my own speed. Um, some of the other people I do understand have more background in education and are wanting to brush up on their skills in technology and incorporating that into their education. So, you know, the only person I really did have to be accountable was myself. Um, I noticed since, you know, I have come into higher education there is a lot of emphasis on group participation, um, which is, you know, pretty good in um, getting that feel for collaboration at times that you need to have in the workplace. Um, but in my case, I really did like that it was up to my own speed because I wasn't on the same level as certain people who I'd experienced in the classroom and wanted to brush up on their um, technology skills and incorporating that. So it was good for me to figure out where I was and where I should be. Um, I mean, kind of creating that um, bond only communication that people do tend to have in technology, I think that did kind of set me back. It wasn't always necessarily the best thing, but I was able to reach out to my students and the peers that I have in this course about um, discussing various points in technology. So it did kind of um, hold me accountable in contacting people and in this SIG assignment I was able to kind of see where they were, what their thoughts were in my own assignment that I did create. So it wasn't necessarily something that I did create in terms of students it wasn't necessarily traditional but I was really impressed with the answers I did get and it, the whole consensus was that they did want to bring it back to um, making it more of a personal connection because with technology um, a lot of times you will kind of shut down and look into what's going on on the internet because they're in there is such an influx of information just kind of coming through and it will be overwhelming at times and people do want to be connected they want to know what's going on right here right now they want to make sure that they're up to date and everything that's going on and I notice a lot of the people in this classroom are um, this learning experience they didn't want to kind of go back and teach their students to kind of shut down that technology and open it as they needed to just so that they could um, experience the now they were able to kind of um, separate being in tune with the constant flow of communication 
the news that was coming towards them, but kind of put that aside and connect with the person in front of them. And it seems like everybody was kind of in the same generation as me where you didn't have all of that technology. You kind of had to, as I would say, self-soothe. Like for me, I did grow up in a rural area. I did have to find my own ways to entertain myself. I didn't have, I didn't come from a big city. I didn't have like roller skating rinks. I didn't have movie theaters. I didn't have all of these different connections. I did have to learn for ways for me to connect and look into the outside world. And I think a lot of the people are trying to do that with just kind of bringing people back into the now. And I really like that my assignment was able to help people look into what their students are doing now, their past also, and kind of projecting themselves into the future and how to kind of bring that back, how they can harness that communication barrier.